Hey everyone, uh, this is our devotion for Friday, uh, July 3. Hope you are doing well and have had a good uh, have had a good week uh, this week. Uh, before we begin our devotion, just want to make a very quick announcement, and that is that uh, starting next week for two weeks, I will be on vacation and out of the office, and so uh, we will be putting a pause on our devotions for two weeks. So uh, you'll. I, I would encourage you to keep reading through the book of Psalms or find another book of the Bible to keep uh, keep you in the practice of reading scripture on a daily basis and, and praying as well. And then uh, when, when I get back in a couple of weeks, we will begin the devotions back up again uh, from where we leave off today. But just want to let you know that if you look for devotions next week, uh, they won't be there. And that is that is why. Well, as we enter into the psalm today, I, I wonder if you have been saying saying these words uh, recently. Um, Lord, how long is this going to go on? Uh, how long is this going to last? And you may be referring to the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, it has been several months now, and it doesn't look like it's coming to an end anytime soon. And we are weary, and we are tired, and we are wondering, Lord, how long uh, do we have to keep this up? How long will it be uh, before this pandemic dissipates and we can reestablish norms, um, especially from a socializing standpoint? The, the, the isolation is just is, is, is very difficult for a lot of a lot of people and so we say how long Lord um, do we need to do this do we need to go through with this uh, you may be saying Lord how long in reference to the economic uncertainty uh, maybe you have lost employment maybe your wages have gone down maybe your um, maybe your investments have taken a big hit the investments that allow you to sustain your life whatever it may be and maybe you're having to to cut back and uh, and make ends meet and you wonder how long that's going to last how long before the economy picks up or maybe you have been looking at the ongoing issues of racial disparity uh, that continue in our nation brought to light once again through uh, the violence that has been perpetuated on people of color in these last months. Maybe you look at the uh, at the uh, systems of injustice that have put people in certain categories for decades and generations now, and you wonder, Lord, how long will this go on? How long before justice can be can be had and reached in our country? Maybe you are crying, how long? because of that. Maybe there's other issues that are causing you to say those same things. And, and while Psalm 10 doesn't give us answer to the question of how long, uh, it shows us that there are people in the Bible who ask that same question. And so we are in good company when we bring our questions to God about the seeming uh, injustice, oppression, and disparity that comes up in our world. And so I want to invite you to take a moment to prepare your heart as we hear from, from the psalmist in Psalm 10. Let's take a moment to quiet ourselves. Psalm 10. Why, O Lord, do you stand far off? Why do you hide yourself in times of trouble? In arrogance, the wicked hotly pursue the poor. Let them be caught in schemes that they have devised. For the wicked boasts of the desires of his soul, and the one greedy for gain curses and renounces the Lord. In the pride of his face, the wicked does not seek him. All his thoughts are, there is no God. His ways prosper at all times. Your judgments are on high, out of his sight. As for all his foes, he puffs at them. 
He says in his heart, I shall not be moved. Throughout all generations, I shall not meet adversity. His mouth is filled with cursing and deceit and oppression. Under his tongue are mischief and iniquity. He sits in ambush in the villages. In hiding places, he murders the innocent. His eyes stealthily watch for the helpless. He lurks in ambush like a lion in his thicket. He lurks that he may seize the poor. He seizes the poor when he draws him into his net. The helpless are crushed, sink down, fall by his might. He says in his heart, God has forgotten. He has hidden his face. He will never see this. Arise, O Lord. O God, lift up your hand. Forget not the afflicted. Why does the wicked renounce God and say in his heart, You will not call to account, but you do see, for you note mischief and vexation, that you may take it into your hands. To you the helpless commits himself. You have been the helper and the fatherless. Break the arm of the wicked and evildoer. Call his wickedness to account till you find none. The Lord is king forever and ever. The nations perish from his land. O Lord, you hear the desire of the afflicted. You will strengthen their heart. You will incline your ear to do justice to the fatherless and the oppressed, so that the man who is of the earth may strike terror no more. Let's pray. Lord, we see brokenness around us. We see the brokenness of the world and humanity. We see the rich gain and the poor lose. We see the good person come up empty while the evil one comes up wealthy and rich. It seems, Lord, in this world that those who stick up for themselves gain, and it seems that those who are most concerned with the marginalized often become the victim. Lord, this world seems backward from how you intended it to be, a God of justice, a God of peace, a God of righteousness, and yet we see oppression, we see indignity, we see humanity at its worst. And while we know that you have created hum humans to be free, we look at what humans do with their freedom and wonder if that's really the best thing. Lord, make your peace known in our world. Make your justice known. Make your righteousness known. Lord, lift up those who are troubled. Bring to justice those who oppress. Lord, help us as your people to be a part of bringing your kingdom into the world. Help us to see where we ourselves have been per per perpetrators, perpetrators of violence and oppression and help us to repent from those ways. Lord, lead us into this day. Give us hope for the future. Help us to be people who love and serve the Lord Jesus Christ in all that we do. Help us to be people who love the people that you place in our lives. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hmm. Kind of a hard psalm to, to leave it on, but that's where we are. Uh, as I said again at the beginning, a couple weeks of break here uh, for, the, for the devotions. Uh, keep at it on your own. Find ways to stay in God's word and in prayer. God bless you, and we will see you soon. Take care.